like any piece of farm equipment, gas tight sealable silos require regular maintenance. The most common areas that we need to think about maintenance on a gas tight sealable silo are the seals, the sealing faces, any plumbing on the side of the silo and of course the pressure relief valve. If we think about the top of the silo, the most common area for damage is going to be the inlet or the inlet lid. The inlet can be damaged mechanically by an auger or a conveyor inloading grain and the seal can be damaged by birds and again mechanically. And we can replace those seals using a foam rubber that's of a closed cell um, structure and using an adhesive there that's going to keep that in place. At the bottom of the silo, the outlet, the outlet ceiling face, and the seal on the ceiling plate that might go on that outlet are also prone to damage and can be replaced. Also, the access door is an obvious place to look as well for seal damage. Now those seals can be replaced with a closed cell rubber foam like this one and they're pretty easily taken off the old uh, ceiling plate uh, with a scraper and then fixed with an adhesive like this one. Also have a look at the base of the silo, quite often the seal there can be damaged. And also have a look at the ceiling plates on the aeration fans as well. The other place to look at the bottom of the silo is obviously any plumbing that's attached to the thermosiphon and the pressure relief valve, which may need to top up with light hydraulic fluid. For more information on silo maintenance and pressure testing, go to storedgrain.com.au or speak to one of the team on 1800 Weevil. Thank you.